Once again, the Catholic Archdiocese of Los Angeles is hosting its Religious Education Congress, otherwise known as the LA Rec. Thousands are gathering for the event in Anaheim, California. But there's growing concern among faithful Catholics because many of the speakers are notorious for promoting confusion, heresy, and sin. Father James Martin, the Rainbow Jesuit, is among them. The Rainbow Jesuit, Father James Martin, is speaking here. He's also been shown to bless homosexual couples recently. What message does that, does that send to the faithful? Well, it sends a message that the 2,000-year-old teachings against homosexuality are all wrong. It uproots the foundation of our morality about the family, and it creates chaos in the church. Is it true that there are rainbow flags or homosexual propaganda spread throughout the Congress's displays and booths? Absolutely. Last year, I personally witnessed a transgender booth at the REC. This year, I haven't been inside to see it with my own eyes, but I've received pictures from a friend of mine who show radical rainbows all over the place. They had an art exhibit that transposed the sacred heart of Jesus on top of a, the rainbow colors. So it's, it's not only promoting that lifestyle, it's trying to mix the purity of our Lord Jesus Christ with homosexual sin. That has always been rampant at the, the Religious Education Congress, and this year is no exception. It's a blasphemy. It's a blasphemy. What do you know about the pro-feminist and pro-Marxist speakers here, particularly those that are speaking about liberation theology? Well, it's very interesting you ask that because liberation theology is a theology that started back in the 60s and 70s in Latin America. And it totally changes the notion of theology as such because traditional theology, of course, is based on God and his revelation. But for liberation theology, they reinterpret that and they believe in a living revelation. They don't believe revelation stopped with the death of the last apostle. What they believe is that God is continually revealing himself through the marginalized. And that's very problematic because who they consider marginalized tend to be moral deviants, homosexuals, different races, anyone that they can portray as being marginalized or suffering any kind of oppression, they, they take up their cause. So it's fundamentally divisive because the church has always taught against socialism and it's always taught against homosexuality. But these people see the homosexual as the person of Christ. They recast Christ as the ultimate revolutionary who came to the earth to overthrow power structures. So you can see it takes the, the moral deviancy and the most problematic aspects, figures in the church today, and it puts them on the top as representing, not only representing Christ, but introducing a new revel uh, revelation to the world. Can you give us an idea of what kind of liturgical abuses are happening at this event? There was, on Friday night, there was what's called a Teze prayer meeting, which is quite literally a Buddhist prayer meeting transposed in some kind of a Catholic way. They describe the Teze prayer service as being an example of centering prayer. And centering prayer is a practice whereby the Catholic supposedly empties his mind of all thought. And when he reaches this mental void, he's supposed to realize that he is one with God and God and him share the same nature. That's totally anti-Catholic. St. John Damascene defined prayer as lifting the mind to God. There's a far cry between lifting one's mind to God and emptying the mind of all conscious thought to reach some kind of Buddha Zen. We need to suffer with the church. We need to be aware of these things and suffer with Christ who truly is suffering a second passion today. Second to that suffering attitude, we need to reject the errors of today. We need to fight against them because we can slow down, we can limit the abuse done to Christ's church today by taking a forceful stand and trying to change things in society. Protests do work and that's why it's important to get involved. The American TFP urges you to firmly and politely voice your concerns to Archbishop Jose Gomez. Let His Excellency know that what the faithful need is true and clear teaching not confusing modernist doctrine that follow the trends of our sinful 21st century. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lady, help
Christian. Pray for us. Olivia Panama. Pray for us.